Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines on a special Tuesday afternoon to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, we head towards the parish of St. Catherine, Spanish Town to be exact, where yesterday I made mention about Tisha Miller wanting to do a surprise attack at Daddy Badness birthday bash by sending gunmen to basically shoot up the birthday bash however one other guy responded and they are ready for anything to come which they are expecting them to try to attack or launch attack at that birthday bash they are well prepared, even to the point of saying that, tell them to come. We have some new toys that we want to play with. I've made mention that weeks ago, Spain Town is going to be hot. To the point where it's going to be even hard to control. Because there are many powerhouses wanting to go at each other including Tisha Miller who is behind bars who is still hungry for power I have told you that he is recruiting all over Jamaica especially in the country here such as St. Anne and also sending guns to the parish now St. Anne is hot for a reason that's one of the reasons. Now we cross over to St. Chavage, where earlier today a man was shot and killed by criminal elements. However, at this time, information on that is very sketchy. I'll update you in the next news broadcast. But I may tell you, St. Chavage is very hot. Of the criminal elements, who are making Central Village hot is men from Zion Leon. Not only them, but other communities in and around Central Village. And most times, most of these victims, they are innocent individuals, all because you have community versus other communities. And innocent persons are the one, always the one, to be targeted by these criminal elements across Jamaica. Have you realized that whenever there's a war between two rival communities or rival war factions, these criminal elements, instead of going after each other, they go after easy targets. Innocent individuals from both communities are being murdered. And you know, one of my biggest concerns are innocent individuals, law-abiding persons who are living in these volatile communities and they all get caught up in this madness. The criminal elements always seek to go after persons or kill persons who can't defend themselves. Now look here. Leave innocent persons out of a mess. And you know criminal elements always seek to go after the easy target persons who cannot defend themselves what well, I may I tell you trust me Jamaica is a complete mess now two men have been wanted for questioning by the police in Spain town for a murder which took place on South Pan Road in Spanish town now these men are urged to turn themselves in for questioning. The police believe that these two men can assist them in this murder. Now their names are Lorenzo Emmanuel, aka Laza, from Tamsipen in Spain Town. Also, Shemar Burton, aka Blacks, from Marchpin Road. You are being urged to turn yourself in immediately for questioning.
Now we head towards Sentence Bay, where JSF is more the loss of yet another police officer who was shot dead by a criminal element yesterday evening in Sentence Bay. Now the officer's name is Constable Ricardo Fearclaw who was 45 years of age. Now, was not only a police officer, but also a minister of religion. He would come on his page, different social media accounts, and spread the word of God, preaching, etc., etc. However, sad to say, he is no longer among the land of the living. After he intervened in an attack on a female vendor along Bravo Street in Sentence Bay. Now, based on information at 8 p.m. last night, a lone criminal element went after or attacked a female vendor where she was shot multiple times by that same criminal element. Now, the female vendor was shot multiple times in her upper body. Now, Ricardo Fearclaw, on seeing what took place, he drew his service pistol, his service firearm, where he and that lone criminal element went at it, resulting in a shootout. However, sad to say, Constable Ricardo Fearclaw was shot in his upper body during the gunfire. The gunman escaped or fled the scene after the shooting subsided. Now this criminal element is the one who's been wanted by the police for the murder of Constable Ricardo Fearclaw, aka Parry. The police believe that this man, whose name is Ciraldo Butler, aka Siri, is the criminal element who shot and killed Constable Ricardo Fearclaw. And now he's on the police most wanted list. You know, you know, whenever you kill a police officer in Jamaica or any country, any state, you are deemed dead already. You won't go to prison. Prison can't save you. Only way for you is modern armed arrest. Yes, man. To kill an officer in any country or Jamaica is punishable by death. All I can say to you right now, Siri, you better just start praying. Ask God for forgiveness. Because when the police come for you, there is no walk or situation, only a charcoal solution. Because you kill the officer, and so said, so done. Your only hope is to be lying in a casket after it's all said and done. Like I said before, killing an officer in any country of Jamaica is punishable by death. No jail time. No sentencing. Straight dove cut or maple cemetery. Now talk about decisive action. Moments ago, Ciraldo Butler aka C was shot and killed by the police in Snake Lane Stir Town. <laughs> May I tell you? I told you in this, earlier in this video, you know, that whenever you kill a police officer in Jamaica or any other country, it is punishable by death. And see it there? You killed an officer last night, and now today, you are no longer in the land of the living. Good written to bad rubbish. Now we head towards Pega Road in Irwin St. James, where on Sunday, 
a criminal element, was shot and killed during an ops. Now, the criminal element name is 22-year-old Brandon Campbell, who you see on your screen right now. Them call him Ratty. Now, based on information, what occurred happened in Irwin, St. James, on Sunday afternoon. Where on 5.50 p.m., Campbell came from a motor vehicle, which was a Toyota Axio motor vehicle. After coming from that vehicle, he fired several shots towards his target. However, shortly after, a licensed fire holder pulled his gun and bam bam bam, Campbell came tumbling down. Now the victim who Campbell came for was shot as well. However, he's in hospital nursing gunshot wounds. But glad to say he's still alive. However, this criminal element on the screen right now got a taste of his own medicine. Karma was the order of the day. Now you have a criminal element who lives in America them called Akim. Now Akim and his friends who are out here are being instigators of violence in Irwin St. James. As a matter of fact, they are instigating criminal elements like these to go on ops and take out innocent persons. May I talk about Akeem who is overseas and his friends them from Pitfour and also Back Street who are making lives of residents in Irwin St. James very uncomfortable. You see these criminal elements who are fools. I call them fools. How can you make a man program you, tell you, who are in Jamaica, to create violence while they're overseas safe? Safe from the chaos and the madness in Jamaica. But you, on the other hand, are not safe. But yet you go out every day and commit murders and shootings and robberies for these same idiots who are overseas. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity man star move them far through. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity life star move them far through. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy